Hey besties, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. I actually think this might be one of my most requested videos recently, obviously not like of all time, but like since I got pregnant, this has been incredibly highly requested, which I understand we're all nosy, we all love baby names, well I say we all, most of us around here probably love some baby names, hence why you've clicked on this video. Um, I have actually done this on TikTok before I was pregnant. I posted two or three videos, I think, sharing my favourite baby names um, before I was even pregnant. So if you can't be bothered to listen to me ramble on on here, you can go and find them on TikTok. I go through them a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd go through them here anyway, just for you guys, because I know not everybody follows me on TikTok or uses TikTok or you guys have just requested that I do it. So I am going to basically be repeating all of the names I said over there. Um, but... It's fine. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it again. I don't mind. I love talking about them. I actually got a hot matcha this morning. I haven't had a taste of it yet, so shall we do a, our first taste test on camera? Mm. It's just so good. It is banana. It's actually not got any cinnamon in it, so it's just banana. I was going to say banana bread. Banana matcha. I have been loving hot drinks at the minute. Um, it's just getting me so cosy. Like, I'm usually an iced drink girly all year round, through and through, always iced. But, recently, I've been living for a cosy hot drink in the morning. It is just fantastic. And I'm using my Mama Bear mug, which I got in Target in Boston the day after I found out I was prego. Divine. Anyway, let's get started. So, if you didn't know, if you haven't been watching my videos, if you don't follow me, if you don't know who I am, Hello, I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant and I'm having a baby boy. Um, we do have a name, we have decided on a name. We actually had a name planned out for quite some time before I was even pregnant. And we always said, if we have a baby boy, this is gonna be its name no matter what, like, this is the name. Um, and we were so actually set on that. And then somebody that we actually know used the first name and the second name. Um, which I know we said we wouldn't care. Sorry, the camera's gonna have moved because I ran out of memory. I really need to get better at deleting my stuff before I start filming because otherwise the camera just has to keep moving throughout the video. Because it was somebody that we knew and they used both names, we were like, I just don't want to use it anymore. So we do have a new name. Yeah, we decided on a new name. It didn't take long. We actually decided whilst we were in America, literally a couple of days after I found out I was pregnant. So all is fine. I was just going to do boys' names because I am having a boy, but not everybody's having boys. Some people are having girlies, and it's just easier for all of us if we just discuss them all, you know? This can just be a full-on baby name inspo video. Um, so, one name that I absolutely love for a baby boy, and loved this for years, and was actually, like, probably my... Like, if I'd got pregnant three years ago, it was, like, lockdown time, I loved this name. If I had got pregnant back in the day this would have been the baby name, and that is Luca. I think it's such a lovely name. However, I think it's just become so popular. And I'm not against popular names. My name is very, the name we've gone for is actually incredibly popular and very like usual, like not unusual, if you know what I mean. Like it's, I hear it like every single day. Um, so yeah, it's not that I don't like common names. I just hear it too much now and I just, it just put me off. So yeah, but I do love the name Luca. Um, for a baby girl, I love the name Ray, R-A-Y-E. Whether I'd use that for a middle name or a first name, I don't know, but Ray, I think, is just a really, really nice name. Just really quickly going to interrupt the video here to let you guys know that this section is very kindly sponsored by... HelloFresh. Of course, our favourites over here on this channel. We love HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a subscription service that gets delivered directly to your door whenever you want it. You can pause, cancel, and change your plan at any time. 35 recipes to choose from each week. HelloFresh really have dinners for every single day, whether you're having a cosy evening in, whether you've got friends or guests coming around, or whether you just need to really quickly whip up something because you've got a busy schedule. HelloFresh has it all. It's such amazing value for money, and it also cuts out all of that fuss of having to do the food shop. It's as simple as it sounds. You get your recipe cards, which have all the instructions on the back, and you are given a number on each recipe card, and that matches up to the bag of food that is already prepared for you. And because it is autumn, and that is my favorite time of year, especially for food, being able to just eat warm, cozy dinners, and the fact that I'm pregnant, so I don't even need to feel bad about it. But having a cozy dinner in the evening with Tom is just my favorite part of the day. So this week we picked up the oven-baked glazed paprika chicken, 
the ultimate chicken and chorizo paella which we had last night which was <gasps> divine i've actually got some leftover in the fridge for me this morning because i was eating it and i was thinking like i'm gonna need this tomorrow so like i've left some in the fridge for me to finish today and then cozy sausages in mushroom sauce sorry does that not just sound like a bit of me? Sausages and mushroom sauce and cosy. It's even got cosy in the title. But for someone that really can't cook and never used to enjoy cooking, HelloFresh has really helped me to have more inspiration, have more ideas, and also made me realise that I really can do it. It is honestly just as simple as following what they tell you to do on the back of the recipe cards. If you are yet to try HelloFresh, then I have got a perfect discount code for you, which is gonna save you 60% off your first box, 20% off your next two boxes and free desserts for life. It's the perfect time to get set up on HelloFresh and the code is unique ball. I'll pop that on screen and I'll also leave it down below. But yeah, I feel like autumn is such a good time to try out HelloFresh because you can just get all the cozy goodness out of all of these meals and they are the best. But yeah, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this section of the video. I will leave you guys to listen to the rest of my baby names now. I hope you are enjoying. Another boy name I love is Ezra. I think that's such a nice name. It's a little bit different, a little bit like, I don't know, a little bit, not like a traditional name, but it's still common. Like I do hear a lot of people called Ezra these days, especially on like Instagram when you're scrolling through and they're coming up on your like for you page and whatnot. I do see Ezra a lot and I do think it's a lovely, lovely name. Another girl's name that I love is Honey. I think this is such a nice name. Um, I don't know if it would suit me and Tom in terms of like our life and who we are. Like we're Emily and Tom and like we're from a small town. Like why would we call our baby girl Honey? Like it's just like it doesn't suit us. It doesn't suit the vibes. Um, but Honey is a lovely name. I do really enjoy it. This is a new name actually that was added to the list in America after we found out we were pregnant. Um... Tom really liked the name Palmer, P-A-L-M-E-R. And I guess you could use that for a girl or a boy. We would have chosen it for a boy. And when he said it, I loved it. I just can't envision my baby being called Palmer, but I think it is such a nice name. So Tom absolutely loved it. And the, where he got it from was Cole Palmer, the football player, which is such a classic boy thing to come up with a name. However, he did say, if when we have the baby and, you know, in future Cole Palmer doesn't play for Chelsea, if he, like, leaves Chelsea and F's off and blah 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 he doesn't want to have a little boy called Palmer which suits me I don't mind like it was never a name that I was like that is our baby name but at the same time I did really love it one of my favorite baby names ever 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 um nobody ever likes this when I tell them it and I have loved this name for sorry for years um and if I had a baby girl tomorrow and other people's opinions and Tom was not a person and it was just me and this baby my baby girl would be called diana i think it's such a beautiful name and people literally laugh in my face when i tell them that i like that name and it's just like why i know like it's a really traditional like old name like you don't really hear anybody called diana anymore but i just feel like these classic traditional names are going to come back around and like people might personally not like these traditional names but i'm not going to lie guys i don't like these like made up names i don't like them personally they're not for me um, I see these names on Instagram and TikTok and I just think, come on, like, I'm, I, I don't judge anybody because I think it's your life, you do you, everybody has different tastes, everybody has different opinions, everybody is their own individual person, but, like, if you're going to laugh at me for liking the name Diana, like, don't call your name, like, don't call your baby, like, I mean, I'm not going to say any names so I don't want to offend anyone, but there's just so many names these days and I just think, where have we gone wrong in this world? Like, where, where are we going wrong? Because, like, these names are just getting a little bit ridiculous like I'm all for doing you and calling your baby whatever you want but like yeah I'm, I'm not gonna go there some more boy names that I like I love Freddy I think that's such a nice name just a classic gorgeous name we'll follow him through his whole entire life Freddy Fred Fred's Fredster again would I ever use it I don't know probably maybe if I can think of anything else like, I do really really enjoy the name Freddy I just have other names I prefer over that um, another girl's name that I like is Angelina. I think this is such a nice name. And every time I hear it, I'm just like, Angelina. Angelina Jolie. That's the only person I know and can think of with the name Angelina. And every time I hear her name, I'm like, it's stunning. And Angelina Ballerina. Did anybody used to play that when they were a kid? Angelina Ballerina. But like, Angelina. I think it's just such a nice name. Another boy's name I love is Casey. And again, this was at the top of my list for a really, really long time. Um, I don't know what changed with this one, to be honest. I think I just sort of... Not went off it because I still love it, it's just 
not at the top of my list anymore like it's just one of those names that have kind of like fizzled out for me but Casey I think is a really really nice name the girl's name I love is Polly again ending in the E sound as you can see we've got a theme going here we love the E sound over in this house Polly Tom loves Polly and I think Polly would actually be a potential girl's name if we were to have a baby girl in future like I said we do have a girl's name but you never know what's gonna happen I never thought that we'd call our baby what we're calling him because of somebody else calling the baby the other name um but yeah Polly I think is just such a nice pretty name and again it's not uncommon it's a it's a classic name that you hear every now and then but you don't hear it all the time I just love it Amy Child's little girl's called Polly isn't she and I just think every time she says Polly I'm like that is so cute love the name Elton like Elton John you know Elton um but f Tom has always wanted our baby's middle name to be James. Well, actually, I say he's he's not actually that fussy, but like it's always just been a thing between like since we've met and spoke about baby names. So if we have a boy, his middle name is going to be James, um, because Tom's middle name is James and his uncle is called James. And I don't really know why it's just kind of stuck with us. And like we haven't even considered any other middle names. Like it's just it's James. Um, so it would have been Elton James and. Not that it sounds like Elton John, like I would still happily do it. Like no one goes around and says then their like first and middle name unless you're double barreled. Like he's not gonna go around and say, hi, my name's Elton James. But it does sound a little bit silly, I understand. So I'll let him off with that one. But for future babies, if I can twist his arm, I would love a little boy called Elton. I think it's such a nice name. I love Madison. Again, just a classic, traditional, kind of boring name but I'm not that adventurous with names and I think Madison is just so pretty. I feel like anybody that says their name is Madison is just beautiful. Like any Madison I know or any Madison I've seen they're just absolutely stunning. Like it's just, is it just a Madison thing? I don't know. And I don't think I'd shorten it to Maddie or, or what other names are there? Is it just Maddie? I think it is. It would be Madison and I love it. I love the name Wesley and Again, I would use this name tomorrow if I could. However, Tom doesn't really like it. He says it's more of like an older man's name, which I understand. And I think the only reason he says that is because our brother-in-law's dad is called Wesley. Um, so, like, we just kind of automatically... Well, no, he. A lot of my family kind of just, like, associate that name with, with him. Which, obviously, fair enough, I completely understand. Like, it's the only Wesley that we know. Whereas I think of, like, Wes Nelson. And I think, like, his name's Wes. Like, that's so cool, like... Wes, Wesley, I love it, but yeah, I don't think that will ever be a name that we use because Tom is quite adamant that that is a big fat no. I think this is so pretty. I don't know anybody called Minnie, um, but my family, I told them about it one time and they all laughed and said about like it being like a nunny, like Minnie and nunny, which I understand. Again, it's fine, fair enough, whatever. Um, but it kind of, it didn't put me off. I, let me just say, if you ever like a baby name, and you actually feel like you could potentially use it in the future, don't tell anybody. Because they're just going to put you off. They're going to... Everybody has a reason why they don't like a name. Everybody knows somebody that's put them off a name. Everybody, you know, has something to say. So if you genuinely find a name that you love, don't tell anyone. We have told, like, our family and friends our baby boy's name. Luckily, we've had no negative opinions on it. I mean, I don't think you really can. Like, it's a gorgeous name and whatever and it's decided like it, 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 that is going to be the name as long as nothing happens in the next few months like that is going to be the name so we haven't had that many like I mean at that many we haven't had any like bad responses from it but I just think if you really really like a name and you're set on a name don't tell anyone because they will put you off they will change your mind and sometimes it's not worth it like you do you whatever name you like you you use another boy's name I like is Sunny and that was a potential actually for this baby boy um I love the name Sunny. I think it's so nice. It's definitely becoming more popular and I'd spell it S-O-N-N-Y. Definitely becoming more popular. I'm definitely hearing it a lot more. Um, but I think it's just really nice. Sunny and I got that from Big Daddy. The Adam Sandler movie. That is my one of my favourite movies of all time. And his name is Sunny and I just think it's such a nice name. Sunny. The only thing is I wouldn't know what the nickname would end up being. I wouldn't want him to be nicknamed Sun. Um... So I think that the name would just have to be Sunny, which is fine. Like, not everybody needs a nickname. Not everybody... And I think nicknames actually do come as well. Like, some people have the rarest nicknames, which relates nothing to their name. Like, it just naturally comes. Kids in the family can't say the name, and that means that you call them something else. Do you know what I mean? So it's not that, like, because it 
wouldn't have a nickname. We decided not to use it. There was just names that we preferred, but I do really like Sunny and that would definitely be a contender if we have another boy. And I think I'm gonna be a boy mum, guys. I just have this feeling in my bones, like I'm just gonna have boys. So a lot of these names will probably end up being used. So no one steal them. Joking, help yourself guys, help yourself. Take all the inspo that you need. The girl's name I like is Estella. Tom hates this one. Literally when I said this for the first time, he shut me down instantly. He was like, Estella, like Estrella, the beer. I was like, babe, come on. Like Estella, like, that's such a gorgeous name. Estella, I don't like the name Stella, I'm not gonna lie. But Estella, stunning. Joey, Joey. Isn't that so cute? Joey. Wouldn't do Joe, but Joey, love. Um, Tom's best friend is called Joe, so he's a bit like, mm, no, can't do that. This is a thing. Everybody knows somebody that has the name. Another girl's name I like is Ella. Another simple, classic, traditional name. But Ella is such a nice name. I think it's just so pretty, it's so cute. And I like Luella. And if you wanted to, like, if you like the name Ella and wanted that to be the nickname, like, Luella is a good option to have. I like the name Luella. I think that's really pretty. Um, but yeah, Ella, just simple, classic, Ella. I would actually use that as well. If I had a baby girl, it would definitely be a contender. I think I would struggle with a girl's name more than a boy's, only because I've got quite a lot of girls' names that I like, like, but none that I'm like, oh, other than Diana, which Tom has told me, like, it's never happening in a million years. So for girls, I'd probably struggle just because I like so many, but don't love so many. Whereas boys, like, I don't know, I find boys' names really easy. This one is actually a little bit edgier, a little bit out there, a little bit like, whoa, slow down, gal. Like you were just talking about people with weird names and now you're firing this one. But it's a name that I would never use. I just really, really like the name. And I think it's because me and Tom love the place so much and that is Rhodes. We've been to Rhodes quite a few times now. Whenever we're booking a holiday, we're like, should we go back to Rhodes? And then we always have to try and convince ourselves not to go because we've been there like four times and there's just other places that we need to see. But nowhere beats Rhodes for me. Like I just live, for going to Rhodes, I just love it. And then I heard someone called their Baby Rhodes and I was like, that is gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. Obviously Hayley Bieber has Rhode the brand now. Um, so it's kind of like, mm. I mean, I would never use it anyway. It's not a name that I would pick, but Rhodes, I just think such a cute name. And then for a girl, I love the name Grace. Again, very simple, very classic, very traditional. But I think Grace is a really nice name. Two little girls, Ella and Grace would just be Gorgeous, you know, like just can't beat it, can't go wrong. Ella and Grace, gorgeous. I will stop there because I've given you quite a few and I don't want to bore you and you've been listening to me chat about baby names for about 15 minutes now, which is quite a long time. Um, if you want part two, let me know. They are all the names that are like on my list. I have a couple more on there, but I'll save them in case you want a part two. But yeah, let me know some of your favorite names. Not that we need a name, but I do love the inspo and I do like, it's not too late to change our minds. No, I'm joking, this is, we've got baby boy's name, I can't change it. Um, but yeah, let me know your favourite names down below or if you like any of the names that I said. Thank you so much for watching. Glad I finally got round to filming this for you guys because I know how much you wanted to hear my favourite baby names. My matcha has actually gone cold because we've been chatting for so long. So I'm going to end this video here. Love you all so much and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!